Hello viewers, this is Machuka Nyariego TV talk show where we analyze social, economic and political ways of our people, literally known as the House of Ideas. Today, I want us to revisit our story on uh, the mountain whereby we shall uh, uh, pose a question as to whether Ruto or what Ruto should do in order to regain the runaway late Mount Kenya boat. But before we do anything, I kindly request our new viewers to subscribe so that whenever we produce another video, YouTube will automatically notify them. And for those who are already uh, subscribers, thank you for standing with us. Back to our topic. Yesterday was uh, Madaraka Day. And of course, today is on uh, Sunday, uh, whereby most of our leaders are at various churches. Uh, there has been unfolding events along uh, the mountain. The people of Mount Kenya generally feel that the leadership belongs to them of which no one can dispute because they have stood with the president, the current president for a long time. That is, we can literally say that the president is a product of ICC because the case is yet, because of the case yet in ICC, which brought the people of Mount Kenya together and supported him. Two, it's also a product of intimidation. The people of Mount Kenya fully supported him because he was being intimidated by, by his president, of whom they were elected together. This makes the people of Mount Kenya to be unique because they left their own and supported someone from a different ethnic background because they felt that there was a mistrust within uh, their leader. They felt that they, their leader had shortchanged the second in command. And because of that, they stood with the second in command until they recruited him to the powerful position in the Kenyan land. Of course, with several promises that were made to them, largely the people of Mount Kenya are businessmen and they have specific interests in businesses. So any policy that is passed or legislated that is against their business will always be unpopular. And the reasons as to why they stood behind the second in command was that he was friendly to farming. Spoke it spoke well of tea, coffee, macadamia, milk, among others. So the big question now is are the people of Mount Kenya still with Ruto? In a few weeks, beginning with the Muru Gri, it appears that the people are on their way out. There is that narrative that the people of Mount Kenya make their decision to vote that a night before a general election. That's a right. The people of Mount Kenya make their decisions wrong before elections because the decisions 
are informed by the people, not the readers. Readers are moved by the people of Mount Kenya. Like now, if I can give the example of uh, Remuru 3, it was fully supported by the people of Mount Kenya. Near all of them. Even the shower had, had been thrown out. The shower only came to be saved by two things. The Nyeri governor, who said, come on, Mbaya, Mbaya. And maybe divine power, because he says that he did some fasting. So those are the two things that brought him back today as we speak. The shower is the king being that he has been looking for some time, but now it naturally came to him without any force. So, what should uh, William Ruto do in order to retain this Ford Ridge area? Actually, they have a tailor of numbers, just as Mutai Nguni said. They had a time. What should he do to lose it? One, the people of Mount Kenya are very keen on the next budget. Actually, during this coming budget, uh, it could be a divorce day. It is like a marriage which is on a barrel swinging up and down, up and down. They are simply timing on the budget because there are a number of issues that have emerged. Actually, the budget that has been prepared, one could say that it was not prepared by Kenyans who understands how Kenya is. Because at this level, we were supposed to maintain the budget as it is, as it was last year. No additional. Instead, they could focus on uh, reducing the expenses, the luxuries, but remain as it was. Second, the budget, the proposed budget, is largely on capital investment. And most people are starving outside. That's why new movements like Tawi, Tawi from Western, Aki, coalition are coming up and the people are resonating with them so well because of actually the proposed budget. So the first thing that they have to ensure the budget must be very friendly and if it will not be friendly the people of Mount Kenya will not look behind they will just move and eat their poverty. So, those who cheat or who will go and cheat the head of state that uh, they will decide three days to an election, that's wrong. These are people who, who decided that they will support you actually two years before. And no one could trust them. They are the people who, who honor the deals. Second, the shower should be left alone because that is the same thing that made them to support you the moment those in close proximity to you will interfere with the gashawa they will be building gashawa everywhere and the Gashawa may turn to be uh, the next king. So, those around you should leave Gashawa alone. Gashawa has got his uh, duties that you have assigned to him, including uh, eradicating alcohol in his home area and the entire republic. And of course, uh, a 
as things stand, I do not understand whether it is by coincidence or whether I understand the one they are much is they are much complaints on uh, the funds allocated to alcohol. It is a disease everywhere. It is a disease to the young people. So the second thing, the shower should be left to discharge, to discharge its duties. And with that, you'll be able to maintain Mount Kenya. But don't forget the first one. Because you have about two weeks or one week, because I'm not aware even of the date of the budget day, you have about one, two, or three weeks to either divorce or remain the king of uh, Mount Kenya. Because when they decide, you may think that they are ethnic. They are people who have self-interest, just like any other politicians. They are businessmen, business people, who have their businesses that need to be protected, not to be taxed. And uh, the worst thing, uh, the Kenya Kwanza government, government is proud of talking how they will increase taxes. But most people feel that if you can maintain the budget as it was, because already the, it had its own wars with the opposition, you just maintain it, increase some money to the judiciary so that we can have some more judges and deal with the corrupt, the cartels who are stealing the covers money. Because the former president said two billion uh, Kenyan shillings are lost each day. How much of these two billions can be added so that the uh, pupils can be fed? the primary school pupils can be given their rank. So the issue is not going outside to look for money. The issue is to fight the elephant in the house through independent institutions. Just watch the judiciary and the judiciary should watch you. That is not wrong. The opposition watch you. You also watch even the opposition. They can as well see. The police should be watched and even watch you. That's all about democracy. So there has to be that aspect of uh, respecting the deputy president and giving him his space to work, to deliver. That the promises that were made to the people of Central, the people of Central are entirely farmers. They have tea, they have coffee, they have pineapples, and many other agricultural products, which also resonates well to other Kenyans. Because if tea prices are improved, they will be improved everywhere in Kenya. If coffee prices have been improved, this will be a replica of all parts of Kenya. The same case to milk. So just go back to your drawing board before the budget, because the budget, uh, according to my opinion, will be very important and they will determine your relationship with the people of uh, of uh, Mount Kenya because last budget even when they were being criticized by the opposition that see what you did even the people at the village were saying that no he has never prepared a budget he went into office and they found that there is nothing let him make a budget so that from there, we will see. But today, today, and I'm reporting what they are saying, they can see nothing. It's only 
in increase of budget and destroying their businesses. So the budget should be looked and re-looked and made by Kenyans. Because as it stands now, those who have made it have assumed that we have young people. We cannot prepare a budget for capital investments only building of roads, construction of roads, studies, and forgetting that we have a, a young population that is jobless. Who should they, who a budget should be set aside for current, actually like Fijana Nakasi? It was not a foolish idea. It was just to maintain these people so that once they finish, uh, they, maybe their studies before they progress to another level, they have something to do instead of uh, uh, running, uh, uh, chasing each other with the deputy president in, uh, uh, in the places whereby they are taking helicopter. They should be put busy somewhere. And that is money that is current. And with this one, I suggest that agriculture should be given a priority. Capital, capital, capital investment is very good. But an helpful to the common man. People outside, very many people that with the degrees, certificates, diplomas, and they are being given roads. Don't say they are bad, but they need something. Even uh, sweeping the streets is better for them because they will earn something. That's why the current budget is very important but for this case since you are a proponent of agriculture as a step forward to industrialization you have given a backbone to agriculture ministry agriculture ministry at the level of this or at this level should it take the highest budget because there could be like 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 now as we were heading to the budget there could have been a good number of proposed projects that will consume the youthful population. Then next education. That may be housing. But now you'll find that the Minister of Agriculture will be having a mega, mega money, uh, allocation of money or resources which will not make uh, because we have corrupt officials of which the money will not even move from uh, Kirimo house to where it is supposed to be so for you to maintain for you to maintain the relationship between or to maintain your food reach in Mount Kenya because the people decide for themselves, not the leaders. Actually, they use one simple word. Before they use it for you, just do as you promised them. They say, we move to Anatubeba Wana. If you hear them speak like that, know that they are done with you. Therefore, what ought to be done now is ensure that the budget is friendly. The budget focuses on agriculture. And when it focuses on agriculture, it does not mean it only focuses in Mount Kenya. Agriculture is everywhere. Actually, they are saviors of the entire republic. Because there is nothing wrong. And the sun, the sun saying that it is ethnicity, just as we saw 
uh, during the speak uh, the speech on Madaraka Day that they are the groups they are not ethnic these are the people who have feelings who have businesses and who have desires who know what they need who respects you who wish you well who voted for you so that you can uplift up bottom up you are briefed up their lives increase of taxes is good but who are going to be taxed it should start with creation of employment therefore i don't want to say much but my simple advice is that for you to maintain religious food mount kenya you relook your budget relook the promises that you gave to the people these people you went to them directly and they will also deal with you if you don't respect them directly It's direct or direct so make sure you honor the promises so as to clear the issue of ethnicity once for good if you honor the promises these people will always believe that it doesn't matter even if you you elect a ruya person or a michikenda so long as he keeps on the promises then uh, it's okay thank you and have a blessed evening